What's going on, everybody? Welcome to uh, this very first episode of, I think I'm going to call it diecast hunting. Uh, so we're right here at uh, Vendor's Mall right here. I'll go ahead and show you all. Um, we're at Vendor's Mall in my town. Uh, sometimes you can find, sometimes you can find, um, sometimes you can find a solid car uh, in here or a few at that. But uh, sometimes you come in here and there ain't any luck. But uh, so yeah, I'm really excited. I ain't been here in uh, probably a year or two. So um, I'm curious to see uh, what they have. And uh, I'll be sure to get everything that I find on camera. And uh, I don't know if I'll buy anything because I have bought a lot here recently. So uh, there might there has to be something very, uh, very intriguing for me to buy it uh, today. So, uh, but yeah, we're about to head into Vendor's Mall right now. My buddy Tyler's meeting me here, so uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, got the mask ready, uh, considering we are still in a pandemic. But uh, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun, and uh, looking forward to it. So. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you all when Tyler gets here. Chris here. Uh, we're walking into Vendor Mall right now. Tyler, when was the last time you was in here? Uh, probably the last time we went was probably in a couple December. years. Yeah. Ah. Or I November. Felt, I felt like it'd been a lot longer. It's sometime late last year. I'll yeah. That Both got our handy masks on. Man, this place is really, really old. They got a lot of old signs. This used to be full of stuff. This used to have diecast right here. I know for a fact. All of this did. These two things right here were always loaded. Yeah, they really were. Yeah, because they always had a video surveillance. They might have just moved it. Oh, we got a Jeff Gordon victory celebration. One million dollars, nineteen ninety-seven. That's pretty cool. One forty-three scale. Ooh, we got us a Mark McGuire, number eight, uh, little car right Richard there. Petty, 125 scale. A number twenty-seven, one twenty-five scale. That's kind of that's something you don't see. I guess it's one twenty-fours now, obviously. What is that? A Richard Pre Richard Petty? Is that a remote control car? Yeah, oh yeah. See. Look at look how old this is. Dear gosh. A Warburton action figure. I bet you Ward Burton you probably don't even have a Ward Burton action figure. That's something you don't see every day. Ooh. They still don't have. Oh, we got a Michael Waltrip number thirty, two dollars. We got a Sterling Marlin number four. This is a Jeff Gordon rookie card, right? Which Jeff is like, Gordon rookie card? That is though actually in that box. It's just. Oh. I don't see anything else. Oh. An actual holder of Bill Earnhardt. That's a telephone. Oh, oh I didn't know. A Del Earnhardt telephone. They used to actually Jeff Gordon thing. Again, I don't have any diecast Jeff Gordon things right here. Oh, that's why I didn't see it. But they don't have hardly half the stuff they used to. This is making my allergies. Allergies go. I'm about to sneeze. Whew. Don't you just hate that. Oh, here it comes. <coughs> God, our vendor's mall is empty, man. Let's I, I do not look for this place to stay open. Much I don't either. Long. COVID must have been doing them dirty. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, like some people actually sold food. Like, yeah. Literally every booth is almost empty. I mean, there's a few here and there, but. It used to actually. They used be. to have tons of, well, not tons of dock ass, but there were a few booths, booths that you could count on. Uh, and they used to actually. Have some decent booths, though. Yeah, I know. These have been here for a while. How much are these? I don't know. Really we got a Dell Junior Amp, eighty eight, and a Dell sixty five dollars for this. I don't see sixty five dollars. Hershey's. I don't even remember Hershey's ever sponsoring him. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Sixty five dollars for that. We got a Dell Earnhardt Junior Reserve Parking thing, and we got a plush, a plush pillow of a eighty eight, eighty or uh, eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight dollars. That's actually that's not, not bad, actually. Oh, we got us a nice little Dale Jr. poster. Look at that face right there. Determined. Little did he know he wouldn't win for a while. Pretty nice. We got a Barbie Del, or, uh, NASCAR theme. Kyle, look at Kyle Petty back there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <Just lurking. laughs> we know what he's looking at. <laughs> Very surprised at the lack of uh, booths. I mean, I know I've said this like five times, but yeah. good Lord. Yeah, we got some cards. I've never been into that uh, trading cards. Oh, those are cassette tapes. Those, well, that's a little far off. Well, cassette tapes. Well, still. 
It's still so weird seeing everybody in a mask. You still get that feeling when you go into a store where you're like, it's just weird. Like you feel kind of unsettling, unsettled. Our lunch box right here. Imagine pulling up to college with that baby. Something slick. The first thing we found all day, a Steve Park 124. Why is that $35? $35. God bless America. Hulk. God bless America. Uh, yeah, a little, a little overpriced. Jeff Gordon and Dale Hart Jr. Ultimate track test. Hey, I remember this thing. Yeah, I used to have that. this. I didn't have that. They want $31.98 for that. That's heck no. Heck no. Always a lot. Good Corona spot. Yeah, this place is good. Tyler just made a claim that this place would be closed by the end of the year. I don't. I, I could definitely see it. It's, How do they even make money? I mean, I know they make profit off of some of the stuff that people sell here. But like, uh, all we have is a uh, Star Wars section. We're still not diecast. The UFC. Dude, we came in Vendor's Mall and didn't find a single diecast. Wait. Even more shocking is we didn't find a single Dale Jr. diecast because usually there's usually a, yeah usually there's a lot of there's a few Dale things but we didn't find a single item. Yeah, we're gonna go back. We saw a 16 truck hauler. We're yeah. gonna go back and see if we can find this. Ron Hornaday, legit 124 hauler. I guess that's what that would be. Yeah, I used to see those at Bristol all the time. That's a tractor trailer. Thing's massive. Oh, we got an M&M's racing team. Looks like a, is that a, a hot dog rotator? No, no. No, see, candy is stacked on this, like the, oh, see, yeah. see the boxes? We should get that for the movies. That actually would be a bad idea. Then we got a Tony Stewart license plate. Put that in the front of the Fusion. Collectible 2007 champion. Christmas one. Christmas one, man. Two dollars. Small, very, very empty handed, you know? Yeah, nothing. Well, we're leaving Vendor's Mall empty handed. Didn't see a single die cast. Didn't see anything at all. Uh, so, I don't know. Usually they don't have like a whole lot of stuff in there, but I mean, sometimes you can find something that, you know, you're tempted to buy. It's zero now. Like, Literally. They had literally nothing. There is no purpose in coming back to the vendor's mall for me. No, anymore. I won't be going back there. I'll, I'll see them in another year. Another five, another few years. Maybe. If they don't shut down. They well, probably will. I mean, let's be honest. The chances of this place surviving is next to none. Next to none. <laughs>